<sighs> I hate this. I hate this. You sound mad. What's up? I'm so frustrated with this stupid book report. Today in class, Miss Moretti told me that I had better get going or I'll never be done on time. But I don't know what to do first, what comes next, or even what it's supposed to look like when I'm finished. Hmm. I remember when it used to be like that for me. Schoolwork was always this big scary weight hanging over my head. So I tried not to think about it and put it off, which just made everything worse. That's just what I did for the past three weeks. And now I just have three days to finish. So, have you even read the book? Yep. Mom made me read her a chapter every night. I guess Mom learned something from my mistakes. One year, I hadn't even picked out a book the week before. That was a real mess with a lot of crying and yelling. I don't remember that. You were too little at the time. But you always get your homework done now. How do you do it? What changed? It's not that simple, Sam. I needed a lot of help, and it took a lot of work to figure it out. And I still need to meet with Mr. Jenkins on and off. I know that you see him, but I thought that he just teaches you math. That's only part of it. He helps with my executive functioning. People with ADHD don't have great executive functioning skills. Wait, Dad calls Mom our executive planner, but I thought he was only kidding. What's that thing you said Mr. Jenkins helps you with? Executive functioning. It's when your brain organizes and plan things out. It helps us to keep track of things. When to do stuff. And how to solve problems. That's why Dad calls Mom our executive planner. She organizes all of us. Make sure that we're on time helps us put things in the right place so we can find them, and helps us to remember all those things that we forget to do. Wow! I knew that she did all of that, but not what it was called. Dad teases Mom all the time about all those charts and pictures she puts up to remind us of stuff. At first, I thought all those things on the mirrors and doors were kind of silly. But they do help me remember what I need to do. So, if she can do all of that, why do you need Mr. Jenkins? Mom is great at doing all those things herself. But Mr. Jenkins teaches me how to get better at them. But boy, it sure wasn't easy in the beginning. He also helped me learn how to advocate for myself. What's... Advocate me. That's when I speak up for myself and remind my teachers and even my soccer coach that I need a little more time for some things, like extra time to write things down, more time to practice soccer moves, and more time for tests, things like that. I also need people, mom and dad and even my friends, to give my brain a bit more time to work out what they're asking me to do. And they can't ask me to do too many things all at the same time. Or I can't keep anything straight. I know that you have ADHD too, Sally. But a different type. Because you're not hyper like me. I thought that you were just luckier than me. Wrong. I have all the same problems with paying too little or too much attention just like you, Sam. And now you know I find it hard to get things done and organize myself too. Just because I'm not hyperactive and impulsive doesn't mean that it's easy for me. I still daydream too much, and I used to have a hard time letting things go unless I was sure I did everything just perfect. And I used to worry a lot. 
about everything. Wow, that doesn't seem like much fun. No kidding. So, is that why you went to see Dr. Murphy last year? Yup, and also Dr. Lee. He's an ADHD doctor. Dr. Lee told us that he has ADHD too. I was surprised, but it made me feel better to know even doctors can have ADHD. Both Dr. Murphy and Dr. Lee helped me a lot. Dr. Murphy taught me ways to relax more and let things go. But because I was still having trouble getting my schoolwork done, Mom, Dad and I also had a long talk with Dr. Lee. We decided to try some medication to see if it would help me pay attention. Now it's much easier to stay focused on what my teachers are saying and what I need to get done. Hmm, I heard Mom tell Dad that she thought it was time for me to see Dr. Lee too. She said that all the other things are in place, but I'm still having some trouble. But I'm not sure that I want to take pills. I was a bit worried about that too, and it might take a few tries to find the right ones. You remember when I had those headaches and was kind of touchy? Sure do. You were a real grouch. Well, we were trying to find the right pills, and the first two we tried weren't the best for me. But I think we found the right one now because things are a lot better. You know, Sam, you might not have to take any pills, and if you do, you might find the right one on the first try. Kids with ADHD are all different, so there are all kinds of different things you can do to help them. You just need to figure out the best ones for you, but you have lots of people to help you do that. Thanks, Sally. I was kind of worried about seeing Dr. Lee. No problem. What else are big sisters for? But what about my stupid book report? Okay, let's see if we can break it down step by step. That's what Mr. Jenkins always says. Do you have the assignment written down? Miss Moretti gave me a piece of paper, but what did I do with it? Yes, here it is. Maybe we should get you a red folder to keep all your assignments in. That's something else Mr. Jenkins taught me to do. Let's look at the sheet. Okay, so you need to figure out who the main characters are and where the story takes place. Next, you need to pick one interesting thing that happened and if you liked the book and why. Wow! That's easy when you explain it like that. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. But where do I start? Start with question one and write down the main characters. Oh yeah, I'm such a dummy. Hey, you're just as smart as other kids. And don't call yourself a dummy. That's my job as your big sister.